how you doing? Steve wanted me to talk to you for just a second about what he's talking about. Okay. He's talking about uh, stuff that's getting stretched out. Stretched out. Stretched out. Stretched out. Really far. And that's called tensile stress. We're just going to call it stress in general. So when we talk about stress, we're talking about tensile stress. Oh. And what that is, is uh, in the mechanical engineering world, that's, a, that's like taking a material and deforming it so that it loses its shape. And, uh, well, let me show you what I mean. Okay. Here is exhibit A. It's a rubber band. So uh, we're gonna take our rubber band and we're gonna put it up here and uh, we're gonna add some stress, some tensile stress by adding a weight to our rubber band. This kind of stress we can measure. We need the area of the cross section of the rubber band. So if, you know, if we cut it, what's the area of that little space? Two millimeters. 289 mega Pascals and Pascals is a metric term that's uh, kind of like, well, it doesn't matter. You really don't care. So then we'll put the rubber band back up here. We'll add the weight. So now we're adding stress to the rubber band. Did he learn that? Oh, no. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Whatever. So what we're going to do now <laughs> is we're going to add a second weight to this oh no and increase the stress on the rubber band and just to be on the safe side so rubber bands and paper clips and things don't go flying into one of my precious eyes and now we can we can calculate this as well so now you can see that with two weights that there is more stress this number is a measure of the stress on the rubber band there's a lot more stress, twice as much apparently, as with the one, which makes sense. We've added twice as much weight. I was told there'd be no math. And so as we add weights, we add more stress. Now, what do all these numbers mean? I don't know. I'm just doing this because Steve told me to. Now look at it this way. This box of ping pong balls represent a little section of the rubber band. Did he learn that? And so as we add weight, to the rubber band, we add stress to the rubber band. And so the rubber band deforms, it loses its shape. We are causing the atoms, if let's say the ping pong balls are atoms, we're causing them to spread out really far. Well then at some point, you're gonna have catastrophic failure. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna add more weight and we're gonna increase the amount of stress on this rubber band a lot. Ooh. Now you can kind of think of this as you. You're the rubber band. Careful. And so we have, you know, we add things to your life like work, marriage, kids. Give us a kiss, darling. Mm -hmm. Maybe more than one kid. Softball or whatever hobby you, you've got going on. Extra projects that your boss wants you to do or work that second job or third or fourth or fifth job. And so we keep adding these weights to our lives till we've crossed the yield point. And we cross that yield point enough times that nothing happens. Which is just as well, because you know, I don't want little pieces of paper clip to come flying up and hit me in the face. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. <laughs> so we keep adding things to our lives, increasing the stress. So as you increase the load, then you increase the stress. And as stress increases, then the material weakens and then it snaps, just like in our lives where we add more to our load until we weaken and we snap.